Saving a betta with rotting fins is a, uh, it's not very complex. When you're looking at a, a Siamese fighting fish with rotting fins, what you're looking at is a bacterial or fungal infection. And those are always caused by poor water quality and immune suppression. So the key to the management of fin rot or mouth rot is improvement of water quality and uh, building up the immune system. So, and that's accomplished fairly easily. The strongest support for the immune system is warmth. And so if you can get the betta or Siamese fighting fish prevailing water temperatures to 78 degrees, then you're going to uh, stand a much better chance against fin rot and mouth rot. So uh, sometimes that's just buying a small heater if it's a two-gallon fishbowl, they even make little 25-watt heaters for small fishbowls that you could use. Or you could just move the fishbowl to a part of your house that tends to stay warmer. And when I say that, I mean prevailingly warmer. I don't mean 78 degrees during the day or while the dryer is running and then 65 degrees at night. That's not really going to help you. So you want to try to provide 78 degrees to support the immune system of the betta. That's going to go a long way towards helping with the fin rot. I know, very indirect. Uh, the second thing is improving water quality and considering all of the things that could be wrong with your water from crazy high nitrates to a crashed out pH and even high levels of background pollution. Um, what I would need you to do is a, a, at least a 75% water change using, and I'm sure you've done water changes before, or at least I hope you have, otherwise that's the reason the fish is sick. Um, I need you to use a, a aged water that's been sitting overnight or water that's agitated or other fish are living in. Um, uh, better all, best, best of all is water that's been uh, fresh from the tap and then dechlorinated to neutralize the chlorine that's probably in that water and then allowed to achieve the same temperature as the uh, tank you're changing the betta out of. So to correct most, if not all, of the water quality problems your fish could be facing, it would be a massive water change, 75 to 80 percent, with water that's dechlorinated or the same temperature as the betta is in, and then achieving a temperature of 78 degrees to support the immune system, and finally, clearance of any parasites and bad germs and protozoans and stuff that are living on the fish, and that is done with a combination of salt at 0.3% and API's general cure. What you'd be doing with those two medications is you're going to be putting salt together, which cures a lot of ciliated protozoan parasites, including white spot, Chelidinella trichodina, some of the costia, uh, Epistylus glossatella, blah, blah, blah. That's the salt at 0.3%. And then um, applying API's general cure, you're using Proxyquantil and Metronidazole, which deworm the fish, control cestodes and trematodes, as well as killing gill and body flukes on the surface of the fish. And the Metronidazole goes a long way towards clearing uh, hexameda and spironucleus from on and in the fish. And then you might say, well, wait a minute, you haven't even treated the fin rot yet. Well, it turns out relative to fin rot that most of the time you don't actually have to treat the germs involved in fin rot right off the bat. Most of the time when you warm the fish up and put some salt and some general a uh, API general cure in there, most of the time when you do those things, the fish automatically gets over the fin and mouth rot because its immune system comes up and the stressors on it go away. But let's just say that you wanted to treat with something for the, uh, the um, fin rot anyway. Well, any of the following three can attack fin rot, but I, I really would want you to try the first uh, three or four things first and improve the water quality and warm the fish up and then use the salt and the general cure. But if you really want to treat with something else, then there are waterborne antibiotics. And uh, there are at least three I can think of. There's erythromycin and there is tetracycline. 
well, it's doxycycline. And then there's uh, furan antibiotics. And uh, those are okay. I would, uh, if you decided to do that, what you would do is remove the fish from the um, tank, where whatever it is that you've got the fish living in at 78 degrees with good water quality, and move the fish out of that, and then bathe them for four to six hours in a separate facility with a bath made of the erythromycin or doxycycline or furan. Keeping him at 78 degrees while he's in his bath with an aerator going, and then after four to six hours, move him back into the main tank at 78 degrees with his general cure and his 0.3% um, salt. Um, but like I said, I don't think you're going to need to treat fin rot once you improve water quality and get them in some salt and general cure. That is what I uh, wanted to tell you about fin rot and mouth rot.